I am going to show you how to do invoicing in the vision system. So I'm actually just going to start out in a customer file because you always need to make sure that your customers are set up for how they prefer to be billed. So I headed to the accounting section of my customer's profile and I come here to where it says email, fax, print invoices. So if you leave this blank, it will default to print, which means you want to uh, print out a physical copy of that invoice to send off to your customer. Otherwise, they're going to be set up for either e-billing, which is email, or F for fax. If they are set up for either one of those, please make sure that their email address or email addresses, comma separated, or fax number are filled in here so that the system knows where to send those once you go through the posting process. Okay. So I'm just going to head back to my home page and I'm going to go up to my accounting tab and then I'm going to go to invoices. So the first step of the process is to view or update my invoices. This is where we will go through our auditing process, make sure that the charges are all correct, uh, make sure that we have all of our documentation uploaded to the public folder, and then we need to take the invoice off of bill hold so that it goes into the queue to be printed. So I'm going to go to View Update Invoices. I'm going to click on Continue. And this takes me to the filter screen. So now keep in mind that all invoice files are created when the shipment is created. So if I just click on search without any filter criteria, I'm going to see the invoice files for shipments that are ready to be billed as well as shipments that are still active. Maybe they're still in open status or covered status. So I want to go ahead and filter uh, my invoices that need to be billed. I'm going to do release date to release date. So I want to see my shipments that were released in the past week. And I want to see ones that have not been billed yet. So I'm going to choose unbilled yes, release from the 1st to the 8th. Search. And it pulls in an invoice that's ready to be billed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that pro number. And it takes me to my invoice file. The first thing I want to do in my invoice file is audit all of my information. So I always teach in the dispatch class that once the dispatchers release their shipments, they cannot make any more changes on the dispatch side. But if a shipment has been released and changes need to be made, you can certainly make those changes here in this file. So if they forgot to put in a reference number, you can add that in. When it comes to the charges, if you need to make any changes to a rate, if you need to add in a charge, Okay, so let's say there's a fuel charge surcharge that was missing for $100, so you can add that in. You can delete charges, so if this lift gate wasn't supposed to be charged for, you can delete that line. Okay. So all of our charges are now correct. At the top of the screen, in the top right, is your documentation. So this is where you can go to scan, upload, or drag and drop any documents that you might want to store for this particular invoice file. Keep in mind that your public folder means that your customers can see these documents as well. So if they require a POD to be attached to the invoice, that would go into your public folder. Your private folder is your company eyes only carrier rate confirmations, carrier freight bills, anything of that nature. So if I wanted to upload my POD, I can choose my public folder. It pulls up my standard scanning screen, and I can click here to upload my POD, or I could have scanned it in or dragged and dropped into the blue area. Okay. So now my POD is attached to this invoice. And the last thing for me to do is take the invoice off of bill hold. You must take the invoice off of hold so that it goes into the queue to be billed. And then just simply close out of this window, and you're done with that process. You will continue on if you have more than one invoice to bill. You will see them all listed below, and you just continue to click on the pro numbers, audit, 
upload documents, and take the invoice off of hold. Once you're finished with that, you can go to your invoicing menu. And the next step of the process is to print the invoices. So I'm going to go to print and continue. Click on print invoices. And it will show in a PDF all of the invoices that we took off of hold today. If I scroll down through the invoices and you see a note at the bottom that says audit invoice for email customer, that's letting you know that this is not a print customer. You do not need to print out this invoice and get it sent off um, to your customer. It is an e-bill customer and this is just an invoice for you to take a look at before it gets sent out, but the system will send this invoice automatically. And you also see if you had scanned in any documentation, you will see that attached but this will go out um, as a link to this document um, with the e-bill. So you don't need to worry about printing either of those. Okay. So I'll close out of that. I've printed off everything I need to print. And then I can go to my report of unposted invoices. This is optional, but what this report is going to show you is everything that is about to post. So. Just one last chance to do your due diligence. Maybe you uh, got two freight bills in the mail today, but only one is here on the list. You probably just forgot to take the other one off of hold. Go back into that pro number, take it off of bill hold, and it will appear on your list. Same goes in the reverse. If you see one on this list that you don't want to post, you're not ready to bill it yet, simply go back in and click bill hold yes, and it will fall off the list and it will go um, back onto hold. If everything looks good, we are ready to post invoices, and I go to post. You must make sure that you post invoices. If you do not post your invoices, a few things are not going to happen. One, your, uh, your e-bill and your fax bill customers are not going to receive their invoices. It's during the posting process that, that those go out via email and fax. And number two, the system is not going to recognize that you build anyone. Um, so it's after the posting process that your accounts receivable starts aging for those invoices. So I'm just going to click on continue to post and click on post invoices. And that is it. Your invoices are posted and it will pull up your posted invoice report and show your total invoiced amount for the day.